trying to figure out. Oh, I forgot the background image. Oops. Still not displaying the background image. ID container. Is my media query right? Min device width. Media screen only and min device width four eighty one. So I'm going to remove the media query for a second and see what the problem is. So something was wrong with my media query. Let's go and find out what was wrong with it. Sorry, my media query wrong. So now we have a different, uh, a more different looking page for the the, the um, full version than we do for the um, for the uh, desktop version. All right. What is that code in IE? Let's we might as well go and put that in. Looks like this, right? Starts out like that. If less than We then put the style sheet in again with no media query. Think we're set. 
set. Save it. View it in IE. And there we go. So we did the little hack workaround for IE. So now we're we're going uh, going fine. Now there are there's the issue of common content to resolve. What if we have chunks of code that's the same on both pages? All right. I would hate to run, type the same paragraph in twice. I'd even hate to type it in once and then copy and paste it because what if I need to go back and edit one? I wouldn't want to go back and edit the other. So what we'll address on Wednesday is the question of common content. What if there's pieces of the page that are going to be the same both in the mobile and the desktop version? Not in terms of appearance, because we already kind of handled that as terms of appearance by using the two style sheets, but in terms of actual content text, links, whatever. All right. Then what if it's very similar contact but not identical content? All right. Finally, um, what if um, we want to give the option to users to, even if they're on a mobile platform, to go and visit the full site? So those will be three of the issues that we'll discuss on Wednesday. All right. Thank you very much.